of our arms. Dr. Buford, just getting started on the left shoulder. We're looking at it from the back to the front. Everything is magnified 30 or 40 times, just like our other video. And you can see here this biceps anchor is torn again. Because there's no extra articular pathology, I think we can do a soft tissue tenodesis this time. I think last time we went your armpit to tenodesis it. But here we pass the needle right through the middle like that. We take a black wire called a super shuttle. Pass that down. Then we'll take a grasper. Outside your shoulder, we'll go ahead and load this uh, wire with the white suture. That's the first step. Second step is to do the same thing again, basically. So we'll try and bring this a little bit. There's a good spot right there. One little extra step here this time, so we'll tell you when we're about to do it. Back the needle out. And so now here's the extra step. This time we're going to let go. We're going to bring this on the other side of the biceps to retrieve the relay. strong loop all the way around and through the biceps. See how that gives us a good strong loop. So we're going to go ahead and take our scissors and cut the biceps now. Good. Now the biceps is released. You take a shaver out some of this labor here. Here's the tear in the rotator cuff tendon. It's a significant tear, which we already knew. And we know that it's essentially full thickness based on the studies, the ultrasound and the MRI scan. back of the shoulder. And the anatomy back here looks pretty good. labrum. So 
a little bit of a label frame here. We're going to try and debris for you. Okay, we're going to go ahead and finish up inside the joint. You can see we've got this labor of debr debris in back now. And next we're going to go ahead and get to work on the rotator cuff. And if there's any work on the bone, we'll do that as well. Pause, please. The rotator cuff, we can see the joint is down through that space. You can see the smooth white stuff. That's the articular surface of the humeral head. We've been taking down some soft tissue so we can see exactly where we're going to be placing our anchors. Got that done here. Okay, so we're going to take a spinal needle and check our insertion angle here. So here's the needle coming down. Now it's a little bit shallow. That looks a little better. So if I place an anchor here, is there room for two? This may just be one anchor. Put one there and that'll give us three strong sutures. I don't think there'd be room for two. So we're going to make a little nick in the skin. And then we're going to place a guide down. There you see it. back from the particular surface just a little bit. particular anchor is not made out of metal or plastic or anything like that. It's actually it's actually made out of suture. And so now we have to seed it. We'll pull back on these sutures that you see. That gives us a very strong hold there. We're going to reach in from the left side of the screen, which is the front of your shoulder, spread these apart a little bit and decide which ones we're going to work with first. Actually, I'm going to take that solid blue one first. So we'll take this one right here up front. And now from the left side of the screen, we're going to take our suture hook. We're going to take a suture hook and uh, use that to put a stitch in the tendon. So here's the hook. Here's the tendon. I'm make sure I get any deep layers. Looks like that's it. So. That's where we want to end up. So we're going to pull back, pass the stitch about like that. And there it is coming underneath. So we'll go ahead and feed the relay. Retrieve it and we'll go ahead and load that outside your shoulder. See how that brings that blue suture back through. And then, then here we get the part in the suture. Now we're not going to tie these yet. We're going to tie them all at the end. So to save ourselves a step, we're going to look down, decide what we're going to use next. It looks like we're going to use that black and white one. So I'm going to take this one out of the way here. Take the other black and white one out the front, which is to the left, just like that. And so now the next stitch is going to be with a slightly different angled hook. This one has more of a curve to it. See how this one has more of that curve there? We'll take the grasper.
Okay, we're just tying the sutures now. We've already tied the first one on the right. See that blue one that's cut? And now we're gonna tie the, uh, the black and white one here. We've got three sutures to tie for the rotator cuff, and then we still have that one suture to tie for the biceps. Okay, pause please. Okay, so we're all done here. Let me show you what we've done. There's one stitch in the back here, and there's the central black and white stitch, and there's the blue and white stitch. As I rotate your shoulder, you can see how that all moves together as a unit, and that hole in the tendon is completely gone. So we've stitched that back down to the bone. That white stitch there is for the biceps, tenodesis. So you've got a total of four stitches in there holding things together, and I really hope that does the trick for you, okay? Good luck to you now. Bye-bye.